gas, groceries, back to school supplies. Prices have been climbing for months. Clothes, food, lunch, everything, everything's, everything costs money, a lot of money. Now more Canadians are putting those purchases on credit cards, with balances hitting the highest level in three years. I definitely have two credit cards that I go between um, when one is getting a little on the scary side. I'm owing a lot of money. <laughs> I'm owing a lot of money in the credit card. On average, consumers are spending more than $2,300 a month using their credit cards. That's up 22% compared to the same time a year ago. It's lots of people across all age groups, across a lot of different um, credit risk scores, across different regions. As Canadians stayed close to home during the pandemic, debt levels sank and savings soared. Now, thanks to inflation, it's harder to make ends meet. The challenge is credit card debt spirals. Every month you're paying 19%-ish interest on the balance. And it's really hard to keep up with that kind of level of payment. And interest rates are marching higher. Many borrowers are paying more on their loans, leaving them even more strapped for cash. Experts say another factor eating away at budgets, paychecks for many workers, just aren't keeping up with inflation. The price of milk, beans, all the basics passed, it's gone up. So I don't see employers giving us a cost of living raise of 8%. So we're basically um, dealing with a huge shortfall. And while government aid kept debt down during the height of the pandemic, subsidies have dried up. Now personal bankruptcies are on the rise. There is some significant financial stress coming through because obviously consumers don't tend to go insolvent unless you know, they're, in, they're in a really difficult situation. A difficult situation that may continue until rampant inflation gets under control. So Nisha, those rising interest rates are something many Canadians are watching so carefully and it seems yet again we're expecting another one tomorrow. Adrian, the big question is how much. The bank has already raised rates four times this year. Most experts predict a move that would take the key rate to three and a quarter percent, trying to wrangle relentless inflation down. And while there have been signals that inflation may have peaked, it's still above seven percent. Bankers say their job won't be done until inflation is down to two percent. So Adrian, we'll see if this hike tomorrow is it or if there are more hikes to come. All right, Nisha Patel in Toronto, thank you.